three top ways you can save money while you're trying to buy your home. What's going on ladies and gents in Cyberland coming back to you with another educational video and this time we're going into uh, I don't want to say it's really three ways I just want to say ways you can save money when you're trying to buy your home it's very simplistic well I think it is some people might be like oh, that's too hard but it's what you deem important you know like I said sacrifice now this can go any way you want to go with it Everybody has some type of vice. Everybody has, everybody spends money. It's how you spend your money, okay? Now, the thing that I would suggest is what you wanna do is make a list of all your bills, all your normal bills you have every single month. Then what you wanna do is if you're by yourself or if you have a spouse, you guys get your checks, your pay stubs for that month. Put it together and see how much money you have, you make. What you need to do is deduct every expense, the, the normal expenses, not the play expenses. You know, the electric bill, the insurance, the car, the gas, food. See what I'm saying? Food, not takeout, okay? After that, then you look at how much money you have left over. And then what you need to start looking at is where your money's going. A lot of us, I've been guilty of it. I know all of us have done it at one point. We spend money sometimes and we don't think about what we're spending our money on. We're just like, I bought that video game. I bought that book. I got my nails done. Bought a new suit. Got some new shoes. Got a couple shoes, got a bunch of comics, bought some new equipment, bought a new TV, bought some new stereo equipment for my car. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you, you just don't think about where your money's going. And this is what you need to do. You need to look at where your money's going, and then you need to look at sacrificing putting money away how much can you put away how much are you willing to put away how much can you put away to where you don't feel like you're just working just to work now some people are gonna say well you're working for a goal to have a home yes I get that but I look at it like this when you have a job where you're not making as much as you could, like you wish you should be making, or you're just not making enough, it's a lot harder to spend time putting away $500 when it'd be better for your goal to, get to put away $2,000. And what that means, what I'm trying to say is, not everybody can continue to put away $500 and it's gonna take them this many months or a year to get where they want to go some people they need to have a little of that income to do something with for themselves just to keep their sanity because again like I said in my other videos life is hard and you gotta feel you gotta treat yourself whatever that vice is as long as hopefully it's something positive, not negative. Otherwise, you're going to feel like one of my friends said, where you're stuck in the matrix, where you're just going to work just to go to work. You're not seeing any fruits of your labor. You're just literally working and working just to pay bills. 
I don't wish that on nobody. I wouldn't want to be in that my situ- myself. It's not fun. Just working to pay bills. That's it. So. And that's not really three ways to save for a house. It's really just what you can do to save for a house. And it's not easy. Especially if you don't have a I have it doing it. It's gonna take some sacrifice, it's gonna sting a little bit. It's gonna make you feel some type of way when you could be going out to the movies with your friends or your spouse. Instead you gotta stay home this weekend. Oh that new movie's coming out. Wait for that DVD or Blu-ray or streaming. When that new movie's out to buy, I have to wait. When that new video game's out, I have to wait. Oh man, this is the guitar I want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to wait. I've been needing a pedicure this long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to use that nail clipper for a while. See where I'm going with this? It sucks at times. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody can do it. But you gotta look at what is it you really want. Do you want something to call your own, that's an investment that you can use for other things, or do you want instant gratification where you get that dopamine hit from buying that $60, $100, $200 product. That also goes for eating out too. You eat out once a week or three times a week, I'll cut it back. Not only because for your health, it's not good to eat out anyway. Like that. That's what's going to be required. So you can get your home a lot faster and not rent anymore. Or not have to live with your parents, per se. Because some people start living with their parents before they buy their own. It's different factors. Or. They have a place that's safe and it's a good place for you to live. Who knows? We all got different things. But you gotta sacrifice. It's not easy. Believe me. Those of you watching this video, I'll tell you right now, it's not easy. It's hard. But it's so much more work than once you achieve what you want to by doing it. So with that being said, if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.